I bought quite a few guitars from here. So I've got about six or seven guitars at home. But I don't even play, so. <laughs> I bought a walker here the other day. You know the walkers for when you get old? Because you never know, I'm gonna need it. And I got it. And a beautiful one. Paid 190 Rand for it. But when I need it, <laughs> when I need it, it's going to come in handy. I had a breakdown with my vehicle and there was no other way I needed gas like as in now. I walked in here and I traded my camera until mounting and within five minutes I was out of the store, assisted and gotten the money from them. And also it's affordable, the payback amount is affordable. My husband died on the 1st of March very suddenly. I came into Cash Converters and I saw this piece of glass. It was 39 Rand and I bought it. Took it to the market and I showed an antique dealer. He sold it for me and I got 10,000 Rand. I tell everyone about it. We were very close. We were married 41 years when he died. So every year after that, he comes around about April and he gives me a gift. Someone asked me the other day, from jail, I said, no, from heaven. <laughs> For many of our customers over the past 21 years, Cash Converters has become a destination store that is so much a part of their daily lives. As a business, we understand that that kind of loyalty is about the uniqueness of the services and products that we offer. We give them money for things they no longer want. We offer quality second-hand goods with a six-month guarantee. And of course, we loan them money, often when no one else will. Our customers know that they don't need to come to us with cap in hand. They know they don't have to beg or impress us or sign their lives away to get access to cash. We're not a bank and we're certainly not loan sharks. I've been here now for almost five years and there's a lot of uh, uh, instances where customers were so grateful that we were able to help them in, 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 the, in the situation that they were. They couldn't turn anywhere else. And there are some times where we do have customers that when they come in to collect an item they are a few rand short, 50, 100 rand short. We just write it off. We give them the item, we show the shortage, and Bruce, Bruce understands, it's not a problem. We can help them out. We did it, and we do it. So like I said, it's not all about the money. It's about the customer, and they come back. Now when they're financially a little bit okay, they come back and we get the business again. I remember one incident where a client came to me, and he shook my hand, and he said to me, I want to thank you, because the times when I was down and when I really had nothing, you guys helped me and he purchased the PlayStation 3 from us. And I, it really touched me knowing that he's returning, he's giving back for what we have given him. At one stage, I, I actually had to help a customer that was in need of cash to go and do a funeral in Transkai. This person didn't unfortunately have cash at that moment, no, nothing to sell or nothing to do a buyback. So uh, I then said, listen, uh, the only thing I can do is to loan the cash, but I know you don't have nothing to put on. Have you got an ID book with you? Yes, I do have an ID book, and I actually got a spare ID book as well. I said, okay, do me a favor. Let me keep one of your ID books. You go and do your funeral. When you come back, you can always come and repay. You was a regular client, yes. The nature of our business allows us to sincerely care for our customers and build long-term relationships with them because we can help. We make promises we can keep. We're a soft place to land and a helping hand when they need it most. And it is this reality that has become an integral part of who we are. So it was only natural for us to consult with our customers and focus on their needs as we prepare to strengthen our brand and align it for future growth. As directors of, of Cash Converters, it's our responsibility to always look at the brand and uh, see where it fits into the local market. 
We did a whole lot of focus groups with customers, with franchisees, and we really felt what was happening on an international basis was, was perfect for the South African market. People feel comfortable coming into this environment. Uh, it is clean, it is uh, well merchandised, it is bright, it is contemporary, and the new corporate design really does a great job of, of making it one offering. This positions us perfectly from a marketing perspective to start taking the new message across to consumers that we, we're here to serve consumers, to help consumers and to provide consumers with unique opportunities. So the, uh, the next phase of building the business is, is not only about how we look and feel, the corporate identity, but that is really founded in, the, in a set of values that Cash Converters International has adopted. Uh, those values of passion is important in the business, it joins us together, it's the glue that sticks us into this, uh, this business. It's about each and every one of us, from our cleaner all the way through to Pete and myself in the organization, being passionate about this business. It's about doing things professionally. It's about respecting ourselves, about respecting our clients, about us respecting our, our, our staff, the members on the team. It's about integrity. Uh, we've always done business with honesty and integrity. This is just the crystallization within the context of the value set of that particular value and it's about collaboration. Effectively, when we started the business 20 odd years ago, uh, it, it, it was an opportunity in the franchising environment to give our franchisees that opportunity to grow with us and to build their own family's wealth. And collaboration is exactly that. We are stronger for each and every one of us working together. And that's really where the future lies. So uh, we look forward to the journey. We've got a really good opportunity globally with where the business is heading. Not only do we have uh, stores increasingly popping up all over the world that are far more contemporary than they've ever been before, but we're also operating in spaces that we've never been before. I ask that you consider the opportunity that comes with online, it's happening anyway, and where are they going to be there or not. And globally, the successful businesses uh, around the world in every category are there, and that's certainly where we need to be. Importantly also though, though, our stores need to look great and from what I've seen of the plans and the early concept stores here in South Africa, it's looking great. So keep on the track, embrace the change that's coming and I'm sure it'll all be a success. Well, we're very excited to have the opportunity to align ourselves with the Cash Converted International brand. It's a great opportunity for us to align everyone within the organisation with our values and principles of what we're trying to achieve. We can start all the way with the customers, getting the customers to understand the promise that we're trying to deliver for our staff to understand the promise and the values that we live, to align our franchisees with the common objectives that we have. So the whole organisation has a common understanding of where we're going and how we're going to get there. And more importantly, at a franchisor level, to link ourselves to the international brands. No matter where you go in the world, you're going to find that the Cash Converters delivers a common brand and a common promise to you. We are getting the message out there that Cash Converters is a company on the move that promises to be consistent in our offering while still remaining deeply in touch with our people. We are privileged today to be part of celebrating 21 beautiful years of a natural market leader that now effortlessly and very stylishly takes its rightful place, standing head and shoulders above the competition. I would never ever be able to have what I've got today had it not been for cash converters. Because I wouldn't go out there and buy the stuff at the price that it is. You know what I'm saying? You would have to have a lot of money to buy it. I have funding. It gives me a thrill to get a bargain. I've got a relationship with the staff. Um, I can just pick up the phone. Our staff knows me. Um, we actually became friends. And that is the wonderful staff that they have. I grew up in this bank. And what I saw over the years, that side, it just taught me a lot about life. To help somebody else, it's, it's nice to help somebody to get that smile every day back to you. And, and with honesty, it's the best thing you can. That smile alone. I know everything about cash just because I make, I make sure that I get to know everything about it. So I enjoy it so much. It's my favorite shop.
So happy 21st birthday to everybody in the room. It's our thanks to everybody here who's contributed, who's helped, and who's built this business over the last 21 years. Congratulations, thank you, and happy birthday. From my side as well, congratulations, fantastic. The last 21 years have been absolutely awesome. Hopefully Richard and I will be here over the next 21 years to see where this brand is in the next 21 years. But really to everybody, awesome, thank you. Have a great time and a big thanks. Happy 21st birthday, South Africa. It's an absolute pleasure for me to be here to celebrate with you. Congratulations to each and every one of you that have made it such an outstanding success. I'd also like to pass on the very best wishes of Brian Cummins, the founder of the business, who also uh, wanted me to ensure that you knew that he was extremely proud of what you've achieved here in South Africa. I understand South Africans like to celebrate, so let's party.